Okay, I'm going to make a cheat peach, a very cheesy one made with puff pastry, which we actually prefer because it's lighter and it's done in a few minutes. I'm not very fond of buying the pre-made dough ones. They, they have a slightly strange flavour, which I'm sure you're all aware of. And I haven't got time to make a, a fully formed one. So this is my solution. We just roll it out. Now, I'm going to get a little drop of water and I'm going to make the edge wet. Just like this. Because wet pastry sticks. And I know lots of places are telling you to use eggs, don't. It doesn't stick very well with egg water. Now, I'm just making a little, little edge. You want it to be sophisticated, you could make it a slightly bigger edge and lay a little piece of cheese inside, but that and that's going to take me longer and we're in a bit of a hurry so that's why we're making the fastest possible pizza you can do although there is a faster one where you just use slices of bread but they don't quite feel it for me there we go doesn't take very long now i'm going to make a a very very simple filling and while we wait for it, I'm making some nibbles for this evening on another sheet. So we don't need that again, but we do take this. This is pesto. And I want to pour the oily bit out of it because I particularly want the oily bit. Okay, put that to the side. This is tomato puree. Okay, the other half I'm going to use on the other one. Maybe a little tiny bit more, make it. And olive oil. I'm not trying to make a complete blend. Just roughly mix it and then put it in the middle. That's your flavoring and your sauce done. You can do this as thin or as thickly as you like but I want to do it very thickly today. For thin ones where you don't like a lot of topping, I would use the same amount, but for two of them. There you are, that's that bit done. I've got some leftover sweet corn from a salad. Now, the order of this is quite important. I put my cheese on. You want to use something that's quite flavorful but is high in uh, fat. I'm using um, a sheep's tome which has both those characteristics. Mozzarella, fine, but then you might want to add some other cheese with it as well. Now, the reason I said it was important is because hmm, even doesn't it is because you want these face side up all right you don't want them hidden under the cheese because you want them to dry out a little bit and cook the flavors of all these Paul talks about them being the holy trinity because they are so classical um, some sort of bread mixture or flour tomato and uh, cheese it's everywhere if you start looking you'll see that pattern everywhere this is just one of the versions done and i'm going to add a little bit of pepper because we like oops typical because we like pepper and the other thing that's really quite nice to add is Oregano. Everybody associates oregano with the flavour 
of pizzas and Italy. They talk about basil, but it's oregano that does it. That's it. We pop that in the oven. And then while we're waiting for this one to cook, I will show you some nibbles that I will make. Because this is on, I've got another shelf. And I will make another interesting little top into little nibbles for the seasoning. And these are so simple. Rather than go and buy little boxes, which can be quite expensive really for what they are. This again is um, all butter puff pastry, which always tastes so nice. Yes, I have stuck my finger through it. Nothing is perfect, is it? As you can see, I'm a little bit sort of not quite with it this morning. This morning. I'm going to take some nuts, seeds, and sprinkle them on. These are just an interesting little mix. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to do is to put a little bit of this on. This has to be done with the fingers because it needs to be incredibly thin. This will just make it into, it'll, it, it won't be, it'll go hard. So it'll be dried on and just an interesting addition to a cracker. Okay, right. Now, this. Is all I'm doing, literally. They won't all stick, but to help them, I'm going to take a rolling pin and just push it into them. Yes, I know it looks terribly messy, and I'm sure you'll make a better deal of it than I have. But, oh, there's a little bit that's missing over there. That just will hold it on. And we cut them now. And when they come out, you'll see, you won't believe that this will be edible. I, I know that, but it will. For those of you who like your nibbles to be salty, and use little salty flakes on the top. You can use spices, not herbs. Herbs will frizzle and dry out in the oven. So all I'm doing now is just cutting it. I think I need my glasses on. That's better. And I'm just cutting them roughly into some sort of tiny little strips. It's a puff pastry, so they will puff up and leave little tear marks. What I'm really doing is I'm sort of making perforations. And you'll be quite surprised when they come out that you've actually got a big pile of interesting nibbles for your friends. They go with drinks. Instead of crisps, or other things. And they're sesame seeds and um, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds because that just looks nice. Another one I do is with a cream cheese smeared over the top and I will show you that one. What you want is those little tiny squares that come in boxes for round about a 
pound or a euro and you have only about three biscuits each. Well this way you'll get several bowls full and it will have cost you no more than a euro fifty. And they are much nicer. Now this breaks them into their little squares. There you are. Now I'm just going to pop them in the oven. That's it. That's for this evening. Now, I think you need a few more minutes. Okay? They're not quite dry enough. Another couple of minutes. Okay? That's really wonderful and you see how they've broken into little pieces after they cool they go hard and crispy and then you can just break the rest of them up okay and don't worry if they go a little bit like that because they bite nice it's um that piece there that is not got a piece of pastry under yes i wouldn't want that in my jar but we'll break those up and pop them in the jar later I'm going to take out the pizza. You can see it's crispy underneath. It's crispy, it's light, and it's got all these flavours on it. So, let's go and eat something. I just want you to know they really are crunchy. You see, crunchy. And they're all slightly different. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to store these in an airtight container. You can make them a couple of days ahead, a day ahead. Not a problem. They just are really good. The problem is only putting out a small quantity or everyone will put on enormous amounts of weight. As you can see, <laughs> you can see how thin the pastry is, how crispy it is. Mm. Mm. Not a traditional pizza, but really good. Better. Mm. Okay.